Hello guys! Today I'm going to transport you back to my high school self and show you how I did makeup during my high school years. Most of my routine pretty much stayed the same. Um, there were a few things that I changed out like mascaras but I pretty much stick to like two different mascaras that I had or three and I'm just going to kind of go through everything, kind of show you like what I used and show you how I apply it to my face. Obviously some of the brushes that I have are not the same from before because I did upgrade a little bit. I'm going to start off with foundation because I never used primer. I did use the Bare Minerals um, original foundation and this is in the shade Fairly Light. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush but I did use the buffing brush from Bare Minerals. From That's the one that I used so I would pour some in swirl, tap, and I would buff. I didn't really have any pimples or acne on my cheeks or my chin. Most of it was concentrated up here on my forehead, but not heavily. It was just like pretty much just in this little corner here. And then I would go back and kind of spot treat um, places like where I had some issues. So I'm just going to kind of do the same. So I think that is it for my base. I did not wear under eye concealer because I did not need it at the time. Now I do, but let's just avoid that little number. During like my end of eighth grade to like maybe mid ninth grade year, um, I kind of went a little crazy with the warmth and no one told me I looked like an Oompa Loompa. Nobody told me, like my face and my chest were a lot more darker than my body was and it just looks too orange. Like it, even if you look at, at the color for warmth, it's like a reddish tone. So imagine that on me. I am a fair-skinned individual, and you put that on me, I'm going to look like an Oompa Loompa. So I'm going to use the Flawless Face Brush, and I'm going to do the three formation that I was always told to do. But then I would kind of just like put it all over like this. Let's do it again. I think the issue with me getting ready in the mornings growing up was the fact that I got ready in a bathroom, which I still get ready in, but I know how to check better what I look like. The lighting is just like normal, like very warm lighting. So you don't really get to see anything. You don't get to see natural lighting. I didn't know about natural lighting until I started, you know, YouTube channel. But you can already see, like, look at that difference. Like this would actually match here. Now, I am a little bit burned here, so it kind of goes a little bit darker, but I would like really pile this onto my face. Like it's ridiculous. I didn't really buy blush. Pretty much all the blush and eyeshadows that I would get would be from um, those like um, gifts with purchases from like Lancome, Estee Lauder, Clinique, whatever my mom went to get. Those would end up being mine. So I actually have one today and this is one of the ones that I actually use. This is the Clinique Fresh Bloom All Over Color and this is in the shade Peony, 01 Peony. And I'm just going to use my blush brush because I don't have my brush anymore for it but this is what it looked like the other one that was like my favorite color was um, Lancome a plum that one was gorgeous like I love that one all right and then I would go in with the mineral veil to kind of like set everything I really enjoyed the mineral veil because it felt very like heavenly on my skin like it felt amazing my all-time eyeliner, like forever and ever, for all my years in high school, <laughs> was the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in the shade Espresso. I had my day look, my everyday look, and then I had my special occasion look. So for my everyday look, I would take my eyeliner and just line underneath here, kind of like where the lash line is, and bring it into my tear duct. Very few times, and this was like during like later in high school, I would start doing a little bit on the top, but very like very slight. So it would be kind of like like right at the edge of it, so it barely looked like it. And then for mascara, it would switch between the two. Um, I would use, for most of my years, I used Maybelline the Colossal Volume. Sometimes I would do my lower lashes, but it wasn't often. It was very slight. And I mostly did my lower lashes on special occasions because I thought it looked a little funky. And now I feel like I look funky without doing my lower lashes. Funny how that works, right? So I had some lipsticks, but I never used them. I was never a fan of lipsticks. So I used to use like lip glosses. So the one that I used was the Co Bigelow Mentha Lip Shine. And this is found at Bath and Body Works. And it's just a clear 
just a clear one. So I would take it, apply it to my lips. And I loved it because it was nice and minty. So it made me feel like my lips were nice. Every single time I see a picture of me in high school, I cringe because I did no eyebrows. I just let them be and I thought I looked good. So this is what I would look like every day during high school. With this hairstyle, I had the little poof or I would have a headband or I would actually have bangs. Senior year, I looked a little better. Still didn't do my eyebrows. I didn't do my eyebrows until like my second year in college. This is what I looked like for majority of my high school time in high school. And as you can tell, like sure, it may look okay, but it does not look that cute now. Like if I was to walk out like this, I would look at me and judge me. I already judged myself from back then. <laughs> like I'm like, why did I not fill in my eyebrows? Like eyebrows are the frame of the face. Like if you don't have your eyebrows done, you look a little odd. All right, that is it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.